I'm Jamie Smith, Executive Chairman of Sea Learning, and I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Rosie Summers today. Uh, we're at the Bet Show, and I've been talking to Rosie about all things VR. Now, for those of you who may not already know who Rosie is, Rosie is a superstar in the world of VR performance art. You can find her on Twitter at, make sure I get this correct, VR underscore Rosie, that's correct. And uh, so we're just chatting today about all things VR. Rosie, tell me a little bit more about what you do and what VR performance art is and, and the world of VR. Yep, yep. So I'm a 3D animator at XR Games and um, I animate day to day beautiful characters from different worlds that we're animating for and making games for. And I um, also do lots of toothbrush art where I create artwork in the space around me. So space is my canvas and um, I'm creating worlds, creating characters, places that I like to exist inside and working with performance art as well. So when I create art, I'm also performing it. So my body and the way I move is creating this paint in the space around me. And um, yeah, that's, that's what I do. Yeah, and for those of you who may not have seen uh, Rosie's Twitter uh, account, for, to bring it to life, just check out Rosie's Twitter account to see what, how amazing that stuff is in terms of what Rosie creates. We've heard a lot at the Bet Show uh, just in the sessions this morning about the sort of exciting possibilities for education with VR. Uh, we heard from uh, you know, uh, stories about how immersive uh, uh, the VR learning environments can be and sort of some of the positive impact for educators out there. Is that something you see as a key part of learning in the future? 100 percent. I really hope in the future headsets are a staple in the classroom yeah. and uh, just everything about VR, the, the way it can, you, you're immersed in that new environment and the possibilities that adds and for creativity and the expression. We know children, are, their imaginations are endless yeah, <laughs> and so them to be faced with an infinite canvas in tilt brush, it, no mess, no yeah. hey stop with that paint, you're making mess on the walls, you know. You're in this space and you can make as much havoc as you want. Yeah. <laughs> and although you make it look so natural, because we, we saw you performing earlier, which was absolutely amazing. Yeah, I mean, you had you. Uh, the audience absolutely in the palm of your hand, I think. Um, for those people who might be a little bit nervous about getting involved with VR, it's like, oh, what's this kit about? How do I use it? Is it complicated? What advice and guidance would you give to somebody who might be in education, might want to do some of the stuff that you do, but doesn't know how to get started with it, really? Yeah. What well, advice would you give? First advice I'd say is get a headset. Start testing, start trying experiences, uh, using software in it, just trying to test where you think you can really push it because it, you will be able to. There is a part of VR that, that an industry, whatever industry you're in, you will be able to push it in that medium. And um, yeah, just get playing because we're all so new. None of us are experts yet, I'd, I'd argue, because this, this medium is just so new that we're all playing a part and putting our own fingerprints on its like, future identity. Um, so that's a really exciting thing as well, is how we're all learning, finding out what works, what doesn't work, because, you know, things don't work sometimes, we get things wrong and we're all testing and, um, yeah, just be part of some part of the future. Really. Awesome. Well, it's not every day I get to meet a VR superstar, but it's happened today, so thank you, Rosie, thank so you much for your time. Thank and you'll you. see why I said superstar if you check out Rosie, seek her out online on Twitter, but thank you very much, Rosie, for your time. Thank you.